Hey Chevrolet, what were you thinking? This is a 2007. Let me just walk you through what you have to do to get the light bulb out. You know, in previous years you just pulled two clips on the side of the headlight, the headlight fell out. Let me walk you through this. Number one, you got to pop this top off the radiator. So get yourself a tool like this and then dig these clips out. Might as well buy some extras because they're going to break along the way. So we get that off. Piece one off. Now we're going to remove bolts. I've already had this apart just to walk you through it. But anyway, there's four bolts along the top. Then, God bless the clips, they're just incredible. These clips, you have to pinch them. And it was best if I got a uh, needle nose pliers with an angle on it, got on it and wiggled the clips on the back side, then eventually they'll pop off, but one of them broke too. Piece two down. Now, here it's not so bad. A couple 10 millimeter bolts here and here. Now, where's the third bolt? And, oh, and you had to take the grill off because the grill's in front of the headlight and there is no access to get your hand in on the back side to get at the headlight. You can see the rubber boot to screw it off, but there's no going in that way. I tried. So anyway, here we're at this point now. What one source on the internet recommended is you have to drop the chrome corner, and I wasn't about to do that. I found that if you remove the two small screws here and here, and then there is another bolt right here. Uh, I think that's a 10 millimeter and these were uh, smaller than that. Then you got to peel the fender liner down. And this is what I wanted to show you where the bolt is. Rather than dropping the bumper, your third 10 millimeter bolt is right here that holds the headlight on. So just for reference, it's right about here on the headlight. You don't have to take that bolt off, just loosen that bolt. Then, you give this a jerk because these clips hold in here real tight. Now you get the headlight open that, or that far out, and that's all the further out it's gonna come because somebody at GM designed the fender to come down over the top of the headlight and it's pinched in here. And they warn you to be careful about scratching the chrome on the bumpers in some places. All right, so at this point now, if I tear this over to the side and go in here, I can unclip the headlight uh, and get my connector. So now it's just a matter of getting the bulb on there, putting it back in, shoving this back together. Now you got to go back in. Lift your fender wheel down, you got to tighten that bolt. Then put your clips in here, your bolt in here, get that wrapped in around the bumper. Then reinstall the grill, and then reinstall the top plate. And I'd check your lights first just to make sure they're working. Hats off Chevrolet, really poor design.